Hey everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. Today I'm doing something a little different, and you may be into it, and you may not. I don't know, I don't care. I'm into it, um, and it looks super fun. I've seen these things, there's a couple drunks in town that ride around on them. It looks fun to me, and it's way cheaper than a moped, so I got myself a motorized bike kit here. And this is an 80cc two-stroke kit. Um, you have to pull the clutch, you just pull the clutch, pedal it, and pop it to get it started. Um, this is a Huffy Cranbrook, Cranbrook motor, uh, bicycle. I paid like $98 for this thing at Walmart. And it looks pretty straightforward. I'll leave a link to this exact kit that I bought. I used to see these for like 90 bucks, and now the cheapest one on eBay is 125 and it's red, which would obviously be kind of Spider-Man-y on my blue bike. This one was $168. I'm fine with that, I guess fine enough that I'm not going to wait. Um, I'm going to put this thing on exactly the way it is. I'm six foot five. I weigh 270 pounds and we'll see how quickly, how fast it can push me around the neighborhood. I mean, it looks super fun. So, um, it doesn't look too hard to put on. It just clamps. It's got these mounts that just clamp onto the down bars on the frame. Um, it comes with everything you need. I'm going to, in this box is one alteration to the program, but other than that, I'm gonna put it on exactly stock with the pipe and everything, and, and we'll go from there. I'll probably get into some hop-ups with it. I don't know, I've seen guys push these like 60, 70 miles an hour. So, but uh, I expect this one to cruise around 20 miles an hour, and we'll see, you know, how that goes. I'm gonna set up the GoPro here for time-lapse. Um, I'm just using basic hand tools. If you're a normal subscriber to my channel, you have all this stuff. I notice that a lot of like kids and stuff build these and they don't necessarily have, I mean, I've seen people build them with like a pair of channel locks, a screwdriver and a vice pair of uh, a hammer for nails. So I think any of my normal subscribers will be okay. To get started, I'm gonna tear, I'm gonna take the chain guard off. I don't think that it can stay. It looks like it's gonna interfere with the engine. Um, I'm going to take the chain guard off, I'm going to take the wheel off so I can put the sprocket on, and uh, we will go from there. So, I'll bring you guys back. Alright, I've already come across my first problem, and it didn't take very long to get there. Um, the down tube of the Cranbrook has, like, an oversized tube, and you see right there where I already tried to jam it on there. There's no way these studs are going past um, the frame. But, this kit in particular comes with good instructions, like way better than what I've seen, and they outline how to use this adapter and that U-bolt to make it work. So, um, I'm going to pull this off, put the adapter plate on it, and I'll be right back. Alright, that was pretty straightforward to deal with. I just cut the studs off with my grinder and included this U-bolt that I cut to length. Um, I'm gonna pull that back off and Loctite the bolt. That's, there's no blue Loctite in the kit. I highly recommend that you Loctite this stuff. It's a two stroke. I bet it's gonna be a shaking quiver and a little, little mofo. Um, it brings me to the next point though of the build is this sprocket adapter from CDH Power and I'll link to that as well. What all these kits give you is like these rubber donuts that are made from like an old Toyota Previa tire or something that got sent to China to recycle. And then you're supposed to work like a million bolts in there and uh, through the spokes, okay? And then what happens is these bolts push up against the spokes and that's how you go, um, which is part of how people rip the spokes out of their wheels and stuff. Like this has a coaster brake. So if you were to apply the brake by pushing your foot back, if you remember from when you were a kid, and you didn't push the clutch in, something's got to give, right? <laughs> it's going to be those spokes. Um, and if you wind up with a lot of power, you'll rip them out that way as well by just torquing them over. So this was, I'm not going to lie, this was not cheap. It was like 65 bucks. But I've watched people ride the struggle bus for like three hours trying to put these on, and I'm just not into it. So... I'm going to go ahead and cheat and spend the $65 and uh, save myself an hour of time and a big headache later 
Um, but if you want to save the money, you can certainly, you know, do the donuts and, and do that. That's viable. Plenty of people out there putting plenty of miles on them if they want to line them up. And you got to get it all centered and so you don't have run out in your sprocket. And it just looks not fun for me as a first time builder, so I'm not going to do it. But you can. You, this, this part's totally optional. But that's what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So I'll bring you guys back when I have that on. And then we'll do the controls after that. All right, I got kind of lost. Um, the controls went on pretty easy. You have to drill a hole, which kind of sucks. That's the only real hard part about it. The other thing that I had trouble with that I never saw anybody talk about before is my clutch would not disengage, even with no pressure plate or nothing. And the fix for that was I just pedaled it around like half a block. Right when I was about to give up on it, it popped out. Um, they don't give you hose clamps with the fuel line. I, it was leaking up here at the filter. I put a zip tie on it. I rode it a little bit. It started easily. It's, uh, it's a little slow, I think. Probably 15 miles an hour or so is all I've gotten out of it so far. But um, I'm going to ride around today, put some miles on it, and we'll go from there. I'll get you guys some footage and some pictures. The only departures, like I said, from the kit are the B seven HS NGK plug, um, the hub adapter, which was 65 bucks, kind of expensive. And I'm mixing it at about 40 to 50 to one instead of the 16 to one, which is just way too much oil. That's crazy that they tell you that. Um, I will say that this is a Huffy Cranbrook and it has a coaster brake where you push your foot down to stop it backwards on the pedal. And it absolutely sucks. So I'm going to get some, uh, like cantilever brakes here that'll be the first upgrade that happens because it's terrible to stop but this thing's super fun i'm gonna go ride around All right, guys, um, I put like 20 miles on this thing today, and it's pretty awesome. I had a couple things come loose. I had to go back and lock tight them, whatever. It hasn't used any kind of appreciable amount of gas at all. Uh, the brakes are pretty wretched because um, it just has a coaster brake, but I'm pretty sure that I can use that hole and use like the BMX style clamp brakes for it um yeah, i'm out here on the bike trail um it's averaging like 18 to 20 miles an hour for me i haven't really wound it out yet they say you have to break them in i'm not really sure what that looks like but i'm just kind of going easy on it and trying to vary the rpms but man like I have $170 into the engine, $100 into the bike, so that's $270, um, $50 into the sprocket, or I think it was $60 into the sprocket and hub adapter, so that's $330 bucks that I have into this right now, and I bought some Loctite and uh, two-stroke oil. I'm going to have to get another seat for sure. Um, it's too tall for my wife to get on and off. She said she liked it better with the seat down. I don't know. I might build another one of these, though, so we can both have one and cruise them around. But, man, it's a lot of fun. And if you guys would like to see some more of this, I'll probably, you know, once I get it fully broken in, do a few upgrades. I'd really like to get the torque up a little bit, so I'll probably swap the head for a higher compression head. Um, it can't really pull me up hills right now. 
It might never be able to pull me up hills because I'm just too big and fat. Who knows? But uh, this was a fun little project, and it's a beautiful day to ride such a project. Um, it's cheaper than a moped. And it's a lot more fun because I got to build it myself. So I enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the little journey. I can probably do some riding videos and stuff like that. But uh, I'll insert a few clips of uh, a few screenshots of my little trips today. Like I said, I put about 20 miles on it. I think the highest speed I've hit so far is 28. I really haven't wound it out. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time on The Dryway Engineer.